Welcome to this quick BYOB tutorial on how to use lists in BYOB. This is exactly the same in Scratch, uh, but BYOB lists can do a couple of things that Scratch lists can't, so be warned. So what I've got here is I've got a very, very simple system where when I press the space key, our little man here is going to ask me my name, Mr. Powell, like that, and then it will set the variable up here to Mr. Powell and it ask me to enter my score, which is going to be 78 for today. Now, if I want to enter these in a high score table, I need to use a list. I can create a list in the variables section here just by clicking on make a list and I'm going to call it high scores just like that okay and our list appears over here now the list can be extended like this and it can also be turned off and turned on again we can do that from within the program we can set that to be visible or not so we can have our high score list come up we can also drag it over here and if we want make it really wide like this you can manipulate it directly by clicking on add item here and I'm going to say 1000 points goes to Fred like this and then maybe I'm going to add another item in and I'm going to say 500 points goes to Bill. So I've now got my high score table and what I want to do is I want to be able to insert my score in it. So now that I've created the high scores I have this item here which says add thing to high scores and that will add it on the end or I can say insert thing uh, last. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this insert to insert the score when I press, press the space key. And I'm going to use the join, which is down here. I'm going to use two of those like this. And so I'm going to join name and score in there like that. And I'm going to have a space and a dash there. So now when I press the space key to run my game, it says what's my name and I'll say Mr. Powell. And enter your score 300 points. And you can see it inserts me in the list. Very, very simple, very, very easy to do. Now, one of the things we might want to do is we might want to sort our list. I have created this sort block. You can download this if you like. Uh, there should be a copy on today's VLE. If not, if I have a look at the definition of this sort block, you can pause the video here. So I'm going to say edit and give you a good old look at that. You can pause the video, copy that in, and it will become a sort block. I've said atomic at the top, so it all runs at once. It doesn't go through stage by stage while we're looking at it. It just makes it a little bit quicker. So if I say sort, and it takes a list in, so I'm just going to find my high scores list and say sort high scores. If I double click on this, what you'll notice is it actually sorts it into the wrong order. This is because it's sorting it as text. Now there is a way around this and I think we'll have to leave that to another time. But I will give you that sort method and you can use that to sort your table as you wish. Thanks for watching.